Hello everyone, this is Anirudh from Edureka. I welcome you all to this session on one of the most interesting career paths you can take. Yes guys, I am talking about machine learning. I am sure you guys are curious about how you can become a machine learning engineer too, right? So guys, let's get started. Well, let me quickly walk you through the agenda for this session. We'll begin by quickly understanding what machine learning in a gist, right? So later we'll move on to understanding what a machine learning engineer does. Next, I'll walk you through all the various roles, responsibilities and skills needed to become a machine learning engineer. We'll end the session by checking out the salaries and the market trends for machine learning so we can make sure you can start your learning as soon as possible, right? So let's begin by quickly walking you guys through a bit of machine learning. Well guys, in my opinion, machine learning is one of the most exciting and the recent technologies there is. You probably use it dozens of times a day even without noticing it, right? And you're wondering how. But there are two major things that came into my mind as soon as I thought of machine learning. Well, YouTube recommendations and Facebook image recognition. Well, with YouTube, let's say you're watching Edureka's newly launched Python tutorial video. As soon as that's done, you probably get the statistics for data science using Python video as a recommendation, correct? So how does YouTube know what it should recommend to you? Well guys, it's really complex what YouTube does, but it analyzes everything from what you watched previously to what the keywords in the video that you have watched, right? So this is really amazing. So similarly consider this, you and your friends went on a vacation or something. You clicked a lot of pictures and you want to upload them on Facebook and you did. But now wouldn't it take so much time just to find your friends faces and tag them in each and every picture? Well Facebook is intelligent enough to actually tag people for you and I really like this. Well machine learning has been so subtly integrated into our lives so much already that we do not even know its presence, right? So machine learning is basically a type of artificial intelligence itself. As you can see from this picture, deep learning and machine learning branch out from artificial intelligence. Machine learning is the subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is the subset of machine learning. It's as simple as that guys. So to sum it up, machine learning provides computers with an ability to learn. Well, not just the ability to learn, but the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed at all. So next up, let's quickly check out how machine learning actually works. So guys, it is pretty simple. Let me explain. First, we have some training data. It can be anything that acts as a data set, right? So consider, for example, a set of images of cats and dogs and uh, where you want the machine to tell you which is a cat and which image is of a dog. You're getting it, right? So once the data set is established, we train the algorithm iteratively by providing it the input and teaching it to attain better accuracy. And next up would be to actually model the input data and by this step, the machine is already trained. We'll provide new input data as well and we let the algorithm check if it's similar to our existing data by making comparisons and eventually by this we'll be making predictions based on the same. If the predictions are correct, then our model was really successful in performing this task that is comparison for us. However, if it failed, then the input, it doesn't match the data set enough or something is different or it might need more training, right? So that's about it guys, an overview of machine learning workflow. At this point, I would like to tell you that we have a huge playlist with some really good videos on the channel. So make sure you check them out for all of these in-depth tutorials we have after this session. So next up, we need to look at generalization. So what do I mean by generalization? Well, check this out guys. What will happen when we do not provide a proper input to our model? Will it break? Will everything be fine? Well, not to panic guys. By generalization, we make sure to produce a reasonable output even for the inputs the model that has never seen before. So we will not end up with an error case for most of the time, but we will be providing an actual reasonable output. Let's look at an example for some better clarity, right? Well, who here doesn't watch TV shows? I am sure Netflix just reminds us all of a tub of popcorn and the weekend. But did you know Netflix has so many complex algorithms that they use? Well, everything from suggestions to automatic content checking and all of that. So here I have a case for you guys. It all starts out with a film crew providing us with a data set which eventually gets turned into a movie or a TV show, right? So let's generalize and call it content. And this content is encoded into its respective format 
and the inspections which are needed for the same are done automatically and by automatic i mean yes by machines and not by humans guys so here is where our machine learning steps in and does an automatic screening of this content for us if it passes then the content is said to be as per norms if the model attains a fail state then intervention by manual quality control is done and lastly it goes live on the netflix site well here i just simplified a very complex process for you guys but it is straightforward man machine learning is really easy and i'm sure each and every one of you guys here can grasp all the concepts that are needed to learn so now that we've established a foothold on machine learning let's begin to understand who a machine learning engineer actually is so who exactly is a machine learning engineer guys Machine learning engineers are sophisticated programmers who develop machines and systems that can learn and apply some knowledge without any specific direction. Let's simplify that, right? So they're just enthusiastic computer science programmers, but their focus goes beyond specifically programming machines, but to program specific tasks. They create programs that will enable machines to take actions without being specifically directed to perform these tasks. Well now that that's done what is the goal of a machine learning engineer Well to put it in the simplest terms it is to achieve artificial intelligence guys well everything else is a subset of this actually if you ask for my opinion So now let's talk about your goals so whenever i actually give my sessions i always get a lot of questions afterwards from developers who want to get started in machine learning but feel stuck Well usually the only thing that is holding them back is a self limiting belief guys so they come to me saying that their machine is not good enough to do this or they're just a student they're not a very good programmer or they're just too busy with their work and all of that well guys these are definitely self limiting reasons right well take on small things and do not be overwhelmed with all the concepts of machine learning it is really simple so for now we have established the goals of a machine learning engineer and a learner as well So now the question is what does a machine learning engineer do Well we already know that the data science team is full of ideas right you have to make sure that no technology is limiting them as good and customizable as the current ml frameworks are sooner or later your teammates will actually run out of the cases because they're not able to achieve any machine learning with them right well not with the standard apis at least But let's say when you dig into their internals, tweak them a little and mix in a library or two, right? So you mix two or more libraries. So you basically you'll be abusing the frameworks and you'll be using them to their fullest potentials, guys. This requires both extensive programming, machine learning knowledge, something that is quite unique in your role to the team, correct? And even when the framework provides all of the pro all of the programming wise, there still might be some issues with the lack of computation power. Well. Large neural networks take a large amount of time to train. This precious time could be reduced by an order of a large magnitude if you used GPU frameworks running on powerful machines, correct? Well, to be honest with you, you are the one to scout the possibilities, to see the pros and the cons of various cloud options and to choose the most suited one. So, a machine learning engineer is different from a data scientist. I am sure you guys will agree, but you're wondering how, right? So let us check out what they do. So when a company or an organization has an issue or question that they need to solve by gathering the data, they hire a data scientist. These professionals meet with the stakeholders and the leaders to study the economic efficiency and the customer goals as well. And while using this information, so what data scientists usually do is they actually develop computer programs using Java or any other language of their choice. Software providing complex algorithms is basically to help these business savvy techs find some pattern in a large data set they have, right? So this data is then used to know more about the viewership, customer engagement, sales, workflow, or any other issues. Well, here are four job responsibilities of a data scientist: removing errors from data set to avoid skewed results, looking for only the pertinent numbers. analyzing the data using statistical methods and writing a report the stakeholders can use inform changes creating graphs charts and other visual displays of the data well machine learning engineers are creators of these algorithms that allow a machine to find pattern in its own programming data teaching it to understand commands and even think of itself right so think about it guys 
the artificial intelligence that is seen in vacuum cleaners and self-driving cars are the thought process of all of these engineers working. Well, here are some of the highlights from the machine learning engineer's job. Well, researching a new technology and implementing them in the machine learning programs, obviously. Finding the best design and hardware to use when building the robot or say a computer as well. Developing tangible prototypes to show stakeholders. It can also be putting the machines through various tests to ensure that they function as planned at all times, right? So these are some of the major comparison factors between data scientists and machine learning engineers. So next up, we need to check out the roles and responsibilities of a machine learning engineer. It's pretty straightforward, so let's check it out. So guys, we've already discussed the roles here, but everything here is generalized in just three steps. The first and the most important role is to actually create artificial intelligence products for the team to use. You agree, right? And secondly, this is achieved only when you're able to create machine learning models of your own. What's more important is that we need to build efficient applications, right? So just not building applications, but building efficient applications. The efficiency here definitely plays a really big role, guys. And now let's quickly look at some of the responsibilities. Starting out, we need to be able to study some of the prototypes and then transform them into applications. We have to be able to design and build our own machine learning systems at any point of time based on the requirement, right? We have to be in a position where we put in some research to find appropriate algorithms and the tools necessary for production. And yes, we'll be developing machine learning application based on what's required, correct? Also, what's important is to select the right data set and to find correct data representation models. We also need to learn machine learning tests and experiments and we need to keep experimenting on these concepts to help improve all of our accuracies and the implementation for our particular use cases. And lastly, we need to train the systems for top notch accuracy, but sometimes, so you'll have to retain them again based on the changes in the requirement, right? So guys, let's move on to finding what are the skills needed to become a machine learning engineer. I'm sure everyone here is curious of this, right? It's pretty simple, so let me begin. Well, firstly, it has to be the fundamentals and the programming skills. You will require some basic knowledge on data structures such as stacks, uh, queues, multidimensional arrays, and uh, what else, even trees and graphs, and some of the basic algorithms like searching, sorting, optimization, and even dynamic programming to a certain extent. You will need to know a little bit about memory, concepts such as uh, bandwidth, cache, uh, deadlocks, and all of these as well. And second, we have probability and statistics. Well, here as well, guys, some basics on conditional probability, the concept of independence and all of that is needed. Well, machine learning will require a few techniques such as Bayes nets, hidden Markov models and all of these concepts. And then the statistics is really simple, right? So think about it. It's all about mean, median, variance and all of that. Even distributions like say, normal distribution, binomial distributions, and what else? So yeah, poison distribution and even uniform distribution, correct? So all of these are actually needed, guys, and do not worry, this is extremely simple to learn. So next up, we have data modeling and evaluation as well, right? So data modeling is the process of estimating an underlying structure of a given data set. And the goal here is to actually find useful patterns such as correlations and clusters. A key part of this estimation process is to continuously evaluate how good our model is. And depending on the task at hand, you will actually need to choose an appropriate accuracy measure. So let's say for classification, we have log loss and we have something called as SSE, that is a sum of squared errors for regression and all of that. And the next one would be applying machine learning algorithms and libraries. So you already know, right? We have a lot of packages, we have a lot of libraries and APIs like SkyKit Learn, Theano and TensorFlow. But applying them effectively involves actually choosing a suitable model a learning procedure to fit the data and understanding hyperparameters and all that. Well, next up is software engineering guys. So this is really important. At the end of the day, a machine learning engineer's typical output or deliverable product is software, right? And often it is a small component that fits into a larger ecosystem of products and services. 
you need to understand how these different pieces work together and fit together right so they basically communicate with each other and these are used to build appropriate interfaces for your component that the other companies and the other teams will depend on you for careful system design may be necessary to avoid bottlenecks and let your algorithms scale well with increasing volumes of data well software engineering includes some of the best practices right so let's say there is requirement analysis or uh, system design there's testing there are documentations and all of that right so why are these important well these are important for good production and collaboration good quality and good maintainability and all of these so this really plays a high role in learning to become a machine learning engineer guys and now that we know all about machine learning we need to see where there is a requirement for us machine learning engineers correct so there are many companies hiring and i just couldn't fit it all here the number of opportunities are exponentially growing and this is amazing because you'll be trending and you'll become a machine learning engineer and you'll be really paid paid well as well well i will come back to salaries in just a few minutes and it is definitely mind blowing well everyone from amazon google walmart labs apple facebook uber netflix plunk twitter salesforce all of these guys are hiring on a constant basis and they're ready to pay really good salaries for this guys So next I'm sure you have these questions too as well right so what is the future of machine learning well i personally remember asking many questions back when i was actually starting out with machine learning so what is perhaps the most compelling about machine learning is its seamless and limitless applicability correct well there are already so many fields that are being impacted by machine learning including education finance computer science and so much more again i couldn't fit all of these here in one slide guys Well there are virtually no fields to which machine learning doesn't apply at all in some cases well machine learning techniques are in fact desperately needed well consider health case sorry consider health care right so health care is an obvious example and the world is unquestionably changing in rapid and dramatic ways do you guys agree and the demand for machine learning engineers is going to keep increasing exponentially as i've kept on mentioning The world's challenges are complex and they will require some complex systems to solve them and we machine learning engineers are here to build these systems right now so if this is your future and there's no time like present to start actually mastering the skills and developing the mindset you're going to need to succeed guys well machine learning is one amazing thing in a bubble period so yes salaries and trends you guys were really curious so here it is So guys, as a fresher, there is a median salary of almost 13 lakhs and rising for a machine learning engineer. This is one of the trendiest and the coolest jobs to have as per a survey conducted earlier this year. And a machine learning engineer in the USA gets an annual pay of about $140,000. It's about £50,000 in the United Kingdom and it's and it's about 13 lakhs in rupees in India. Well, this definitely is a lot of money in my opinion and the opportunities are endless. Well, look at this trend chart I have for you guys. Well, it keeps going up and up. Your value as a machine learning engineer will keep on increasing and you can make a lot of money being a machine learning engineer as I've kept on mentioning. Thank you guys.